Good morning. Welcome to uh, Bharadwaj Institute uh, for this. Uh, what is success from Bhatsin, sir? Let me directly uh, uh, invite Ms. Gayatri, Mrs. Gayatri for uh, invocation song. Garnan. Bohram Kaker, my Dante, Parvati Suta Pahima Daya Kara Karuna Kara Parvati Suta Pahima Daya Kara Karuna Kara Vigna Vigna Vinayata Kadantam upas mahe, Vinayatam upas mahe, Kadantam upas mahe. Thank you, Gayatri, for the inauguration. Now I welcome uh, uh, Batsan sir, the think tank of uh, both Dummies Drama as well as Bharadwaj Institute to talk on success. Thank you, sir. I request the participants please keep on the mute mode. Namaste to one and all who is there in this room. This is an initiative of Bharatwaj Institute beyond the classroom. Actually, in our classrooms, we do share some of our uh, uh, non-academical aspects which will be useful for their life. But classroom is a very constrained place. We have our own subject limitation, time limitations. At that time, students used to say that uh, we should have such sessions on a larger number. And also we felt apart from our students, if we can reach out to a public at large on our beyond the classroom exercises. So we thought this day, today, Vijay Desami will be the right day to start this initiative from Bharatwaj Institute. And you will be often having this initiative. Uh, we will be keeping on telling you about what are all the beyond classrooms that we try to share with you. Vijaya Dasami. So what else can we talk about other than success? Well, let me be very clear that uh, 
I am not going to tell you something very new about success. I am not going to tell you about something which you don't know or which you have not heard. I am just going to tell you my perspective of it. If you just go and type uh, success in uh, Google, you will see some uh, 200 crores of pages coming up and saying that these are success in less than one minute. So, and this talk is not going to tell you how to be successful. If there is one way for success, I will definitely try to share it with you. In my opinion, in my perspective, there is no one way to say that this is the way to be successful. So this is not a talk which is going to tell you how to be successful. This is a talk which tells you my perspective or my outlook of what success is. Well, uh, my friends, uh, uh, whenever I uh, there are a couple of chart accountants, we are meeting together. And uh, one chartered accountant introduces me to another chartered accountant. Look, he is a very successful chartered. I used to wonder, I don't know how they say I'm very successful chartered accountant. The person to whom I'm introduced might have seen a uh, marvelous, uh, uh, bigger multinational corporations and uh, bigger banks and all those things. I would have been a very normal, yeah, but he would introduce me as a successful chartered accountant. And there are my theater friends introduce me. You, you see, he's my he's a very successful theaterist. Till today, I have not known why they say that I am a successful theaterist or successful chart accountant. And some of my students are generous enough to introduce me as a very successful knowledge sharer or a very successful teacher. So in all these perspectives, I will always have an uh, introspective question going on into me. Why they are saying that this is successful? What is the measurement yardstick of this success? Or is there a measurement yardstick to say that this is what success means? I have my doubts, my dear friends. I really have my doubts whether this is what or this can be regarded as success. So without booting, beating around the bush, I want to directly come and uh, tell you my perspective on what is success, what I perceive as success. Okay, I, in my opinion, feed, there's a feed coming in, so can it's my perspective. Yeah, this is Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. Thank you. Sorry, there are some technical errors and uh, first time we are doing this program in a uh, different platform. So please bear with us for some technical error as we go through, we will be trying to master this art of uh, uh, reaching out to you in a better manner. Okay, coming back. So what is success? What I perceive as success is something very, very deep into your heart. In terms of success, my dear friends, I try to differentiate between you and the whole of the external environment. For me, it is so. And I'm trying to say my perspective of it. You might have a very different perspective also. I'm ready to uh, discuss it later sometime. Okay. My perspective uh, with regard to success is I try to differentiate me from the whole of the external world. When I say from the whole of the external world, it will also include the kit and kin, my dear friends, uh, for you to be successful. No doubt I am differentiating you from your own parents, from your own children, from spouse, everybody. 
no doubt giving the best satisfaction to your parents should be your greatest success but that is also deep within so the terminology success should not be should not have any yardsticks it is purely the internal yardsticks that you set within you that will take you towards or that will be enabling you to enjoy that success in a better manner so success to me has nothing to do with an external environment at all success to me is to do with completely an internal environment where i cherish i relish and i accept whatever i am doing in a if i complete a class uh, around two and a half hours three hours if i am able to complete a class and drive home some of the knowledge to my students at the end of the classroom nobody needs to tell my mind will tell me how successful the class was it has happened the vice versa also many of you who are listening might even be some performers for we the performers the second thing is only going down the auditorium and meeting the viewers no doubt their encouragement their words of praise matters to us but the first thing that gives us the greatest success is something very deeply felt after the performance is over that satisfaction you derive that ability that moment feeling is what all about success so success has no yardstick if you fix a yardstick can we say that all those who pass the exams or all those who are rank holders are only successful then year to year it changes the yardsticks keep on changing can we say all those who have passed are successful we are in a covid year well it is all pass year so can we definitely say that all pass that means all are successful maybe they are successful internally but there cannot be in my opinion one measuring yardstick to sell to say that this is the success or this can only be regarded as success or even any of the external environment any of the external people cannot come and tell us that this is what the definition of success is as far as i am concerned as far as i my perspective goes success should be felt deep inside and when you feel that success you will be more happy i have even advised some of my students some of my friends who come and meet me that in a particular line if they are not very successful i have always told them that try to change the line and progress forward not that i have told friends i have told my own classroom students that if this professional courses are not your cup of tea you will always have a coffee to enjoy then go and enjoy that particular coffee because that will give you an internal satisfaction and that will take you to success so if you want to measure yourself if you want to prove yourself to the whole world that look i am successful because of this then you are setting yourself a benchmark or a yardstick which will be a burden to you in the future the two greatest aspects why success is not felt or what makes people to little stand behind and not feel their success in my opinion again all these are perspectives the two things which i always feel are one self boasting sometimes uh, is not going to be uh, giving you the feel of that success what make what makes you not to feel the success internal one self boasting is a bigger problem the worst problem is self pity both these things doesn't allow you to enjoy your success so you always search the success outside self boasting well um, from my school days uh, i have all, we all know that we all have the same style of school days whichever batch you belong to there are front benches there are middle branches and there is this last benches okay and be sure i belong to this last bench category 
okay and i'm very honest to you i'm nowhere going to exaggerate i know some of my school friends are also viewing this so they will vouch for every statement i am making i always feel that the greatest pressure is only for the front benches because to remain in that french bench to remain there they always have to beat or compete not with any external environment they have to compete with themselves because they keep the yardstick increasing the benchmark increasing 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 that sometimes they are unable to relish or cherish the highest success of 97 98 99 because they haven't got that magic mark of 100 their heart is not allowing them to enjoy that particular success which they have achieved 97 or 98 is not no way ordinary but the others around them are able to celebrate that but they are unable to enjoy it within themselves because they always have the yardstick set high i know there are management gurus i know there are many people who tell and support this think big have the highest yardstick etc that is how to achieve success even in that i have a difference of opinion but that is different that is a different topic but even if they achieve success very recently i have examples of uh, many uh, plus 2 students coming and telling me that their mark is not what they have scored an extraordinarily brilliant mark but it is not up to the mark which they thought so they are not able to enjoy that particular success whereas we back benchers we where we go to, we don't have any expectation inside us about us so we just walk to the teacher from the back row get the mark sheet turn back and walk back if we are walking back normally that means we have maintained our consistency is same if we are walking back with a smile that means we have scored double digit okay so i am nowhere exaggerating this so that cheer we know at the end of the day the teacher is going to be very harsh on us our parents are going to be very harsh on that evening but still more than our expectation we had performed itself gives us because we have set the internally not for external for the whole external people we are definitely a failure or but inside us we had a very very low yardstick so we are able to so and nowhere i'm exaggerating that's what i want to again tell you this is a this is a, a honest life experience many of my uh, school friends still ask me are you sure you are a ca and i said them yes uh, somehow i made it uh, see i proved uh, the whole world that uh, ca has a element of big element of luck also and uh, one proof is standing in front of you and uh, i have also proved uh, to the whole life if i ca things or if any of them thinks that ca is a very difficult course i always prove it wrong okay so the one biggest problem with regard to success b when i say success when i say yardstick you few fix economical yardstick educational yardstick marks yes a yardstick or anything as a yardstick if you fix it at a higher level what is higher level is a subjective thing but if you even fix it at some level then your mind will crave and if it slightly fall short of that level also you will not feel the success in fact honestly you would have done much well and there is some celebration time inside you but you would have missed that particular success as well so self boasting self boasting not only means talking very high about you inside if you fix the yardstick at a very low talking very high about you itself uh, that means you are creating an environment both externally and unknowingly internally also i mean it unknowingly internally also if you start self boasting you are yardstick goes up 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 and to satisfy that you need to do lot of things which will kill your happiness in a big uh, bigger manner the second thing which i speak which i feel is a bigger is worst problem is self pity self pity will never allow you to enjoy your success 
if self boasting will make your success achievement little tougher self pity will never allow you to even enjoy your what is otherwise a normally success because the self pity is always craves it it makes a comparison comparison with people comparison with the effort put in by the person comparison with neighbors comparison of the environment so they always have a feeling though if we develop our self pityness we have to kill that that is the biggest evil if at all durgashtami if at all vijayadashmi is to win over the evil the greatest evil we have to win over is what we call what i call is a self pity nature of people if you develop that in your if you just compare for all the efforts i have put in i should have been at a better position and then next day you will be speaking about bhagavad gita then there is something terribly wrong about the whole aspect because for the efforts you have put in irrespective of the effort you are if you are able to achieve that success and if you are able to cherish that success then you will be enjoying the success in a much better manner if you start comparing yourself with and that person has put in a little lesser effort we don't even know whether it is a little lesser effort but let it even be true that the other person has put in letter lesser effort okay or the other person has put in or uh, has not put in or has not got the enough inputs as you have so the other person should have been less successful than you if that is the intention i would like to definitely tell you you will not enjoy success However great it is, because always in a comparison scale, somebody on some scale, not in all scale, some scale will be higher than you, and you will always, in spite of if there are six parameters, if you even have an achievement on five parameters, and one parameter there is one other person who has achieved better success than you in terms of what you measure as success. I'm saying. Okay, then your mind will always crave why the other person is successful, not me. That sixty parameter, leaving this five parameters because we have developed the what is unknowingly known as a self pityness inside our heart. Oh, we, are, oh, we, are, we need to be sympathetic to me. We need to be. I want to just tell you if you are growing self pityness into your heart, which is which nobody else other than you can win over it. However, management guru, how many ever doctors try? They have only one thing to say. If it is self pity, you can listen to lot of motivation talks, etc. But always your mind will try for something which is similar to you, which has a similar self pity. Unless you win over your self pity, you will not realize your success. Unless you realize your success, you cannot cherish, relish it. So. the two things which can spoil your success which can which can stop you enjoying that particular aspect is self posting and uh, self pity if you are able to win over that then i am sure that the that the way you celebrate i am not saying you should not celebrate success i am not saying you should not uh, work hard i am not saying you should not earn more i am not saying you should not uh, uh, crave for better things these things you should do we are uh, we are all human beings we need to go towards those goals we need to plan towards those aspects there is no two ways about it what i am saying is the end result whatever it is enjoy it if you you are working hard will definitely give you some results what result i am not saying and start enjoying those result than to uh okay. then to start worrying for and let me be very uh, very frank to you on few aspects uh, uh, again life lessons uh, again the lessons i learned to from people around me the people who you and me think are very successful by god's grace i have been and i am uh, associated i have spoken to them honestly they have a very different opinion on whether they are successful or not they have a totally different opinion on whether what whether they are really feeling that they, sometimes they say that we are more successful than them 
and they ask me uh, you mean to say that uh, because of my money or because of the number of people i you they knows me are larger than that's why i am very successful that's why I'm, these are not the arts so talking to them also makes me feel that something deep inside can only be known as success and not something known as an external environment or not something known as an uh, third party who can tell you that you are successful if you feel it there is there is no need for the other persons to tell you. so you can definitely you should work hard there is no two ways no substitute for hard work when you put in your hard work also you are internally feeling the success element because success is not a result success is a path itself so when you you should work hard you should definitely earn uh, economically you should be well off but at the end of the day whether you are getting down from a state transport corporation bus or whether you are getting down from a, your own rolls royce car if you have the same state of mind which tells you that look i'm contented and i'm happy that is the day you can definitely tell that you are successful and only you can tell that you are successful if others are telling it is because of the measurement yardsticks they themselves has fixed and they are telling it on a comparative scale but when you tell it at what point you are telling it is never a point is never a matter don't tell that uh, only those who are completed 70 60 years of age can come and tell even a 10 year old boy can come to you and say i'm successful and you should be able to appreciate that particular feeling in that particular boy like that if you feel internally and leave around the whole external environment as i told you the external environment might include your kitan kin also that day my dear friends that day is the biggest day of success don't allow your success to be external don't place your success on external things or external people or your value is much known to you than to anybody else so enjoy your success journey on this vichay dasami day i wish i pray goddess to give you the heart to relish cherish accept and really enjoy whatever success that comes our way we at bharatwaj institute are committed to continue this beyond the classroom programs very often to come live not only me all the other faculties and many other people who are associated with us are interested to share in tidbits whatever they learn as life lessons along with you thank you very much for spending this time with you with me in this evening and it has been a, uh, it has been a consistent preparation for some time uh, today for me to make this happen uh, i hope that i'm not exceeding the time we are scheduled the program between 7 and 7:30 the 5 minutes delay in the start is only because of technical reasons i thank gayatri for inaugurating with an innovation uh, you know uh, with a song invocation song she has been a part of this institute and a very proud product for all of us thank you very much for joining and listening to me all the very best meet you soon in the next program if you have any doubts uh, if you have any comments i'm ready to share my views on that for 5 minutes you have to unmute and ask me ah uh, shri excellency this is pn prakash here ji namaste <laughs> namaste uh, namaste ji good good you need to, you. You, you need to give this pep talk to your children your children i mean your students yeah i will do that you continue to do that thank Because you thank you for, ji thank for you for them for them you are the successful person and for them <laughs> you are the role model so they will be having a different idea of your connotation of success now that when you told them that success is not what others decide about you but what you decide about yourself it is a great landmark nice that they all emulate you good luck thank you thank you ji thank you very much
Hello, Vatsan. Good evening. Prema Sadashivam here. Hello, madam. Very, very good evening. Uh, uh, you have uh, brought out very well uh, the point uh, that success is uh, just comparable and uh, it doesn't matter at all whether you are more successful than the others or less success. The others are less successful than you. Yeah. It's very well brought out. Yeah. And we enjoyed, all of us, the entire family enjoyed listening to your very, very nice and a very meaningful speech, I should say. Thank you so Thank you. much. And uh, we appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you, madam. Thank you very much. Over to PC to close the session. Thank you, Watson, sir, for the wonderful uh, speech about success. Yeah, even I realized today that uh, whether I'm successful or not, the person I myself should decide. Okay, because I was worrying a lot uh, whether I'm successful or not. I'm smiling now after listening to Watson, sir. Like uh, all of us are like all of the participants do. Thank you. Uh, thank you for joining. Thank you for sparing the time. And uh, we will uh, organize uh, the program with both faculties as well as external. Please spare some time, like a short program for 20, 25 minutes, just to uh, uh, be away with our routine life. Thank you so much for participating.